What's up, guys? Thanks for tuning in to the ITIP Report, where culture classes and commentary reside. It is NYC. It looks like it's about to pour down raining. And I hope you guys are having a great Wednesday. And I hope you had a good holiday for the time that you was off. But anyway, I'm overdue. But today, I just wanted to talk about Game of Thrones. I will tell you guys, I was disappointed with the ending but this was the final episode to a really really a uh, good show game of thrones i didn't really start watching it until two years ago and um i just see why <laughs> game of thrones is the way it is now now we'll tell you in the last episode my favorite is Tyrion, and this last episode he dropped he was dropping gems after gems after gems meaning telling Jon Snow he needs to think about what he's doing. Think with your head and not with your second head. That's pretty much what he was saying. And Jon, ugh, handsome as he is, he to me, he was just like in denial about the whole situation of Danny and her really taking out that whole community, which... She really didn't have to. I think it just was revenge and she felt by herself. But I'm going to tell you something. The endings, like with Cersei and Jamie, I didn't like. I was hoping that Cersei and Jamie wouldn't die in a rub dial. Wouldn't die in a <laughs> in a rubble of what stones and stuff. I was hoping that Tyrion or someone would find them and they would be still alive to flip the story just so many things I was hoping I was gonna see some more dragons I didn't see any more dragons and let me tell you something the visuals for Game of Thrones have been epic especially this last episode the visuals was amazing um just the imagery the dragon Oh my goodness. But I will tell you, when you have great visuals and um, costumes and excellent actors, but then you have to also think about the writing and then the writing is not up to par, that says a lot. Now, the girl that plays Sansa, I think her name is Sophie something, whatever. She was all of her feelings on social media talking about how people shouldn't want to had that last episode done over and she said people put a lot of work in it let me tell you something i understand that but i feel like we got cheated <laughs> i feel like we as admirers of game of thrones got cheated in so many different ways because i feel like the ending wasn't as good as we thought it was going to be yes sometimes you want to flip the script or whatever and have an ill ending but i just felt like yeah, Danny got killed by Jon Snow, and it was shocking, but we knew it was coming. But then we thought, we thought, people thought as well as I did, thought that the dragon was going to kill Jon Snow, like some dramatic ending, and I just felt like it was so weird on so many levels. And then we 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 thinking about Bran. Bran ended up becoming king. He didn't do nothing but just sit there. You know, he just sit there through the whole battles, everything, and just I think he had already known that he was gonna become king, but he just couldn't say it. Just I don't know. Just the the ending was crazy. Um, Sansa, she became the queen of the North independent i'm all for that life because i feel like yeah you should be to the north you already been through a lot Sansa has been through a lot we know but i don't know i was just expecting more from this and then i realized that uh george r and r he left i think after a few seasons maybe four or five seasons i think he left and let dnd <laughs> People call them dumber and dumber. That is so messed up. But I'm going to tell you something to me personally, and this is my opinion. The writing was really bad. It was just like, wrap it up. We're going to get all our money from you guys who watches this on HBO so we can hurry up and just get it out the way so we can do the prequels or whatever. 
I'm not for sure if D and D is gonna do the prequels. I hope they don't do the prequels because this is it was oh man. It was getting good until Danny killed all those people once and it just went down word and then Grey Worm. I'm happy though, I will say with this. Grey Worm, I'm happy that he lived to the end because people were saying that he wasn't gonna live to the end. And I'm glad they kept Grey Worm all the way to the end. But he was becoming a savage. I understand why he was coming a savage because his boo got killed, got beheaded. But I just felt like we got we got cheated and the girl that plays Sansa, she wasn't really trying to hear that. You know, she's saying we she's saying people were disrespectful because they they actually put out a petition to have this this um either that episode the last episode or the whole season of season eight to be redone because that's just like come on y'all gotta do better and i i i think that sometimes people don't realize that especially that actress that plays sansa that people have invested time and energy and they want they're not going to get everything they want but they want a good ending we thought we thought Cersei was going to get burnt to the T something, some dramatic death. None of that happened. I'm just like, wow. And personally, when I'm looking at the interviews of the um, actors like Jon Snow and, and Danny, well, these are the characters, but you know what I'm talking about because I don't know their, their uh, like government names. But they was pretty much kind of throwing shade in regards to the ending and i don't really think they was happy with the ending nobody on that cast looked happy with the ending except to me except sansa the girl that plays sansa but um needless to say visuals everything was great but the ending i was really disappointed with that i mean only person i think that i could be happy with Tyrion. Tyrion, excuse me was alive i thought he was gonna get killed he is one of my favorites and like i said he was he had so much knowledge and everything but john was acting crazy cersei and jamie dead brand <laughs> broken brand what they call him oh like I just don't want to invest in another show like this and to have a bad ending because to me that was a bad ending hey it is what it is i think that i'm going to go and watch <laughs> the beginning to the end to try to make sense of season eight and especially the final episode of game of thrones but i will tell you i'll miss game of thrones but i'm looking forward to the new prequel show which is blood moon looking forward to that but listen let me know your thoughts on what you thought about game of thrones like i said excuse me like i said it's one thing to have a epic show with great visuals great um excellent actors and costume but the, if the writing is bad it's all gonna it doesn't mean anything after that that's how i feel in those terms but i do want to say regardless of the situation and how i feel about it so to all the actors because the actors was extremely talented Tyrion, cersei jamie <laughs> danny Jon snow uh the hounds um, the Mountain, like these are some phenomenal actors. Is it, the list goes on? Grey Worm, all of them, phenomenal actors, and I hope to see them in other stuff. Which I know that people are going to be doing more stuff, but um, salutes to them. But I don't know, just not my cup of tea. But <sighs> Lord, right along, it is what it is. Let me know your thoughts on it. Let me know if you really liked Game of Thrones, the ending, the final of it um do you want to see uh, uh the season eight redone over do you agree with what so sophia said i think she's the actress name that plays sansa that she wants to that we should not want what we want especially if we paying for it that we should be happy with the ending do you agree with that i mean i don't but let me know your thoughts on that other than that, I hope all is well with you. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys on the next video. Peace. And this is Abani.